Hello there, welcome back to Nerdier Things Now. This is episode two. I am Sir Nerdalot, and let's get right into this. First story is about The Mandalorian. We have gotten tons of casting news and speculation over the last couple of months, but we really haven't heard much about a timetable for season two release. We knew officially the release was October 2020, but with everything being delayed, I wondered if we were going to get season two on time. Well, during a virtual panel at the ATX Television Festival, Favreau offered this. We were lucky enough to have finished photography before the lockdown. Thanks to how technology forward Lucasfilm and ILM are, we have been able to do all of our visual effects and editing and post-production remotely through systems that had been set up by those companies for us. So it's sounding like the Mandalorian season two is still on track and that is excellent news. Come October, hopefully, if everything goes swimmingly, we'll have season two of the Mandalorian back on our TV screens. Next. Disney is possibly digging deep into the vaults for another possible live action remake with The Black Cauldron. This all comes from behind a paywall from Daniel Rickman who does appear to have a pretty solid record track for scoops. There aren't any details as of yet only that it's being developed. I think this could be a really good move by Disney having already made remakes of the classic hits like Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, and soon we'll have Mulan. But The Black Cauldron is a lesser known story and people may be ready for something with a little bit more dust on it. Next we have a quick little story about Studio Ghibli. No, Miyazaka's next film isn't due out for another couple years but his son has been working on a new CGI title called Aya and the Witch. It's based off of a book by the same writer of Howl's Moving Castle, Deanna Wynne Jones. There's no news of an official US release, but the film will be included in the Cannes 2020 Film Festival. And for our last story, we have some positive stuff. The California Department of Public Health told the Los Angeles Times, music, TV, and film productions may resume in California, recommended no sooner than June 12, 2020, and subject to approval by county public health officers within the jurisdictions of operations. They went on to say, to reduce the risk of COVID-19 transmission, productions, cast, crew, and other industry workers should abide by safety protocols agreed by labor and management, which may be further enhanced by county public health officers. Just like what was released last week about the UK resuming film productions, there are many protocols that are going to have to be followed. No buffet style food, mandatory testing of cast and crew, temperature screenings, staggered call call times, reorganizing departments so that they have smaller numbers of people, and using remote monitoring technology to reduce the number of people on set. So it's not right back to business as usual for Hollywood, but at least it's back to business. And just a quick update about this show. I am going to be releasing Friday, Sunday, and Wednesday. Um, Don't forget to like, share, leave a comment. um, Tell me how I'm doing. So until next time, may the force be with you. Peace.